I'm James Johnson. I'm the Player Relations Executive and Lawyer at Professional Footballers Australia. Our organisation fights for players both within Australia and also Asia. Recently, Australia has become part of the Asian Football Confederation. So Australia is now considered, for football purposes, an Asian country. My organisation is the exclusive representative for all Australian players. We represent the Socceroos and also all A-League players. We represent them collectively through the negotiation of collective bargaining agreements and other industrial agreements. And we also represent players on an individual basis, uh, whether it be arbitration or also providing players with employment advice on labour laws that apply to them or the football regulations. I'm a former professional footballer myself. I was lucky enough to have played many games for the Australian youth national teams within Asia. I was also fortunate enough to play for a season in the Vietnamese Professional Soccer League. The experience was fantastic. You were playing in front of 30,000 people every game. The crowd was very vocal, very passionate about the teams and the standard was quite good. The standard was much higher from a technical point of view than what I had experienced in Australia. During my professional football career, I continued my studies. I became a lawyer and I guess now I'm in a fortunate position where I can combine my football knowledge with my legal skills and represent players. I think that these different perspectives have provided me with a well-rounded uh, knowledge base, which is vital for, for my work, both within Australia and Asia. Asia is a, is a great place for Australian footballers to develop, um, particularly in leagues such as the Japanese League or the Korean League, which are two of the, two of the, you know, the top countries in Asian football. And there's so many opportunities over there that players have, which they might not have here in Australia. When we're talking about uh, a shift in Australia in terms of its engagement with Asia, I think that you know, for, for a long time, as you all know, there's been different things occurring in different fields of, of endeavour, you know, perhaps in education and other areas. But I think the last 10 years or so has really seen an escalation of the engagement between Australia and Asia in very mainstream pursuits. And just three examples here. It was about uh, five, six, seven years ago that the Australian uh, football went into uh, the Asian Confederations um, League. Uh, so basically, um, our soccer team playing um, against uh, the best soccer, the, the Asian-based uh, soccer countries. That's very new. Europe was always the destination, was always the beacon point. Well, that's still kind of the case, but it's changing. And our future in uh, one mainstream sport is very much um, attached to Asia. Cricket. Now, Australian cricket is now the majority of them, if you take out the 11 or 13 or 15 that play in the test team, most of them are making extremely good livings playing in the Indian subcontinent. That was unheard of 10 years ago. So you can be a, you know, a professional cricketer now and earn a very good living, a very good lifestyle playing in India. Again, that wasn't the case 10 or 15 years ago. So for our kids who have got their role models in these sports, who are looking to what they're doing, that's where it's all happening. And even with AFL, you know, Australia's Indigenous game, I mean, the AFL is, expend is spending a lot of money and a lot of energy on game promotion in the Asian region, but also now has moved to a new level, which is actually looking for play playing talent from the region. I mean, whoever would have thought that even 15 or 20 years ago? So these changes that we're talking about here, which our kids in our schools are going to be living and breathing every day, you know, they're very much mainstream part of, of our lives. And as I often say, Shane Warne. Now, Shane Warne has been able to um, carve out uh, an identity in India. He's been able to get things done in India in a business context and um, working with a range of diverse people. Um, and I always say that if Shane Warne can pull that off, then I think we can look at all the kids in our classrooms and say, yep, this can...